Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at how to create a 16mm film look in DaVinci Resolve 18. We shot this take with the Lomo Oct 19 vintage lens, so there was already a lot of fine-tuned softness in the image overall. We're going to grade in ACES CCT. In the project settings, under color management, select ACES CCT. Select ACES 1.3 under ACES version, and make sure to checkbox Use Color Space Aware Grading Tools. And scroll down under Color Management section to change the 3D lookup table interpolation to tetrahedral. This is for finer detail on any LUTs you'll ever use on a grade. Before closing your project settings, go to Master Settings and under Timeline Resolution, select Custom, then type in 2880 by 2160 under the dimensions for a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Hit Save and we're ready to grade. In order to achieve a true 16mm look, we should probably add a 4x3 film gate. You can look for a PNG of this online, just make sure that its dimensions are relative to the aspect ratio we're using. Drag the file on top of our footage in the Edit tab and set its blending mode to Multiply. Next, we're going to go to the Color tab and map out our nodes here. Create 7 additional nodes and label them as the following showed on the screen. Firstly, go to the Log node and bring down Midtone Density, back by negative 25% for a medium softness in the image overall. It's definitely looking softer for sure. Before hitting Lift Gamma Gain, we're going to work with the Color Space Transform node. We're going to do something a little weird here. Our goal is to take the Zcam Zlog2 footage that we shot and trick resolve into thinking it's ARRI log C. Go to the input color science and select ARRI wide gamut 4, ARRI log C4 under the input gamma, and then rec 709 under output color space. Finally, make sure to set output camera to ARRI log C4 to round trip it back to ARRI log C. You'll notice we've created a lot of natural saturation in the log image. This is essential for the film look. Go to the Lift Gamma Gain node and play around with the offset wheel, bringing it down until your image sits in the mid-tonal range on the waveform. Also add some more contrast around the higher range, keeping the pivot around the default mid-range. Throughout this tutorial, we'll be playing with the Lift Gamma Gain node, pulling it back for exposure adjustments. Now we're going to look at the Contrast node at the end and type in a slightly higher contrast value, bringing the pivot back to a higher range. In our Highlights node in the Qualifier section, select those highlights with the Luminance settings and the Eyedropper tool, taking away the midtones and shadows until just the tips of the highlights are selected. Feather the selection and set the pre-filter to 0.5. In that same node, in the Primaries tab, bring the highlights down by around negative 35% taking the contrast in very slightly, and also by bringing the midtone density down by an extreme amount, say, negative 50. Finally, in this node, shift the temperature to 500 for a warm offset and your tint to 15 to add some magenta. Now it's time for the film look. This is going to take a lot of toll on your CPU, so watch out. Go to the next node and add the film grain effect. Make sure to add a 16mm stock emulation and tweak the grain to your liking. I'm going to do so right here.
Next is Halation. Select the Halation effect and select Array Wide Gamut 4 as the processing color space since we converted our log to Array Log C. Next, bring the threshold to a low value and bring the film saturation level up by a small amount. Under dye layer, reflections, bring strength to a high value, have gamma and saturation sit low, and keep the spread relatively low as well. Make sure reduce highlights is all the way up for global adjustments. Finally, take global blend down halfway so the effect isn't as strong. Next is texture pop. Add the texture pop effect to the next node and change the operating mode to advanced. I would play around with these settings, but keep the course to a higher negative value. It's the negative course value that's pushing this effect along with the tiny and fine details up all the way. Blend at a high value and we're done with the texture pop aspect of this look. And there we have it, a 16 millimeter look effect for your next film. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and happy grading.